for hoggets uh, that we brought over in one of the last videos. So they're on their second break, shifted them out of, well, shifted the fence out of there into there yesterday. They've just started getting into this, but yeah, doing a good job. It's a lot wetter here, the soils are a lot heavier than at the lease box, so there's a bit more wastage. Um, giving them hay, make sure that they have a balanced diet, and then yeah, of course, they've got their runoff paddock over here. So, all looking pretty happy here for today. Due to for some rain this afternoon, um, get all these stock jobs done in the morning. Just got to go shift the heifers. Go do that now. So these are in calf heifers. Sorry about the wind. Uh, yeah, shifted them onto another break. So got one more break in this paddock, and then yeah, off to another another block. But looking good. Get these skills at the moment. Well, so down here, uh, the back of what we call um, like the de development block. So the, the stuff that we've been spraying, fencing, putting water in, all that fun stuff, and then just trying to chew out with the use. So here we have one of the last fences that I haven't fixed up since we came here. So pretty much all the fences on this block, about 90 hectares, were like this. See if you can see the wall is there, running through the scrub, just all pushed down. Um, so today's task, start clearing this, um, tie them off onto this strainer, create a small strain to the left of me here, and then we've got to put a couple of posts in uh, and resurrect the fence that runs along here as well. So this is, um, we've done the majority of this, so yeah, like I said, the, this is the last two, last two bits to do. So just carted in a post and some wires and insulators and stuff, we'll start to We'll start hacking away at this. Got a wee chainsaw, but just got the slasher for now. Sharpened her up last night. And, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. Quite a satisfying job once it's all done. got the top two strained off end insulators so we'll just go along cut our way through uh, to the other end where there's some permanent wire strainers and um, we will try and tighten them up a wee bit and that helps pull the pull the, uh, the wire out of the scrub right, we'll just cut our way through here So on to number fourth wire, 
we're just going back and forth, uh, um, tightening them up as we go. So, like we did the top two, they're pretty, pretty good. They still need another strain, but as we just keep pulling them out of the scrub, just keep going back and winding that permanent Y strainer up. Um, yeah, works quite well. But getting there, making good progress. Right, we'll go do these two, and then just the bottom wire to go. You can see our line cut through here. Yeah, still a bit of stuff to throw over the fence, but pretty much got everything out of the scrub. And then we just go along and pull these wires up for the next wee bit. We're going to strain up as we go. Come all the way through here. down here and wind these up well this is uh, complete I think we've got it all strained up um, climb over here everything pulled out I have to come back here and spray oh, some of this stuff. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with it really. It's looking good. The fence all tight. So another job done. One I've been putting off for quite a while. <laughs> Snowy's barking at something. I don't know what it is. What do you found? Are you just sick of the gorse? So, right, we'll um, straighten these up as we go along. We'll um, go and focus on the other fence now. We'll take, take you along here. through to the end oh. yeah now we've got to do that one so just as I started on this next line that runs back this way through the gully and round the contour yeah where this turn crap so we don't need to be working in this stuff there's no point in getting sick so we'll head home and find something else to do Hello there. Welcome to another day. So it rained last night, but beautiful day today out here. Uh, same fence as yesterday. That's that side. But yeah, we uh, can do this one. So already dug in one post and then dug another hole for another one. Just had to go back and grab some gear. But on the way down, uh, got the dogs with me managed to get them to hold a wee piglet so got rid of that they're making a bit of a mess at the moment just i'll chuck a photo in here it just um one's a bit bigger than snowy actually so it's good to get rid of the one of them and got the rifle with me so we'll see what else we can find gonna have a bit of a eat and uh, we'll carry on got millie with me yeah this is her homeschooling for today so we've got two posts in just on the corner over here uh, two to go Yeah, it's not too bad digging just trying to find as much as the old stuff as possible and um, trying to Get rid of all the 
to gore stuff as we go along. So make a progress. We've got to put a tie back on here. That wire goes on that side of the fence post. Yeah, one more to dig in. It is a bit pushed over too far left this way, but the wire's gonna come on this side, so I'm not too worried. It'll, um, yeah, it'll be fine. Let go to this side. Whoop. Yeah. And straight through to our strainer post at the end. Right, we might go to the very end, strain it off at that end our insulators so then we can uh, focus on doing our straining it up as we come back and putting new wires in you gonna come with me Millie mm. cool it's such a door coffee and poo so here we are at the other end just put this on but um, I'll have to go grab some more and then that's the fence there, so it's not too bad at this end. And then here's the next place, pine trees. Boundary fence goes through there, and heads up that ridge there. So um, cows have been out here a wee bit, but yeah, not too bad. So we'll work on this fence as we go back. So in the past, um, when this fence broke down, it just grew up with gorse and then all the gorse pushed it over so a lot of these insulators uh, are broken or brittle so we're just going along um, and replacing these with new insulators make sure we get the right wire Another post done, carry on. So we've got three top wires done, well not all the way done, only one all the way done through. Uh, all the posts in, still gonna do the tie backs and yeah, so we have more to do. We'll come back tomorrow, it's about knock off time, gotta go home and uh, Jenna's got tutoring again this afternoon, so We'll head home and um, resume this, hopefully, tomorrow. There's a bit of hike to get into here. You can see the end insulators over there. And then the closest we can get the side by side is over there. Now the side of Alfie in the gully. So, yeah, a bit of a hike getting stuff in, but that's all right. We've got most of the materials in. Just gotta carry some waratahs in tomorrow. Now we're just gonna climb out of here. Right, see you tomorrow. It's another day working down on this fence line. Uh, this morning, check the hoggets. 
cut another line, didn't put a fence up, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, the Can Am um, Defender got a service, so seems to be all pretty good. Replaced the belt, um, everything else was alright. So just having a bit of lunch. No pigs this morning, a little bit frustrating in it, just for you wanted something to chase. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll finish my lunch and I'll go show you what I've been up to. Do you want some lunch? Hmm? <laughs> You're a dick. So this is where we're at. Got our tie downs done. So there, got a, no, sorry. Got our tie backs done. There, tied down, done there. And yeah, so four tie backs. Um, four wires all done up to a certain point where it goes into a slip. So we'll take you up there got to um, probably just put some new wires in there and then go to the very end um, put some insulators on and some permanent wire strainers and strain it up from the end so we are making good progress so this is this not a, not really a slip just a wet spot behind me that the cattle have walked through squished all the wires and, and then they've rusted because they've been down in the ground so long so we're just cutting them at each end um, straining some new wires in, so I've got the spinning jenny here and straining them up, so we'll go down to the very end make sure we're all strained up at that end um, and then we can really start putting some pressure onto the fence to get it out of the scrub so, we'll wander down here and snowy, wander through the mud I'll get across here without getting too wet again So I don't think the fence is actually too bad along here. You can see they're all pretty well right here. Um, and in here we might need to be, do a bit of scrub cutting. Get the fence line through here. All the wires are still attached, which is good. And the same with it through here. Right, and there's the end. We're all tidy at this end. Uh, we'll do a new insulator on there. Uh, and then just pulled the near Alfie there, pulled the wires up out of the ground. So we'll start to make our way back, pulling wires as we go. All right, another section done. Uh, since those top three wires are loose now, I'll wander back there and tighten them up again and carry on. And then we're back at the wet patch slip thing. So when I'm joining 
wires without um, a speed knot if you do a double loop. I'm just doing that. So you take one of the tails, wrap it round, and back onto the other one. And that helps um, keep the electricity flowing rather than just going through the two pieces of wire touching there. It runs all the way through that tail and has a good solid connection. So we're just going to run out uh, another couple of wires across this wet spot. Well, five wires strained up there. We'll head back that away. And, uh, yeah, continue on. So this is the last oh, joiner I have to do in this whole fence. It's a pretty good feeling. So we'll do this knot and then we'll go to the end and uh, back to the start, we'll call it, and um, strain all the wires up with the permanent wire strainers, like as tight as they'll go, because as the posts settle down and the, um, this bottom wire still pulls out of the ground a wee bit, um, it will loosen up a touch, so... One, uh, this one here, one figure of eight to wind off. So I just wanted to go along here and show you uh, what we've done. Just missing a few wee pieces, like didn't have one. Uh, or it's uh, insulator, so missing that. Need to come through here with a few battens uh, just to put, fill in these gaps where there used to be this insel timber stuff, but it's a bit buggered. Oh, we'll put a staple in here while we're here. The staple in there, needs a batten in here just to lift that up off the ground a wee bit. Um, Yeah, that could do with some rock chucked under it. Another staple fashion. Uh, and then as we come down here, I noticed this could probably do with a tie down just in here. Just a wee bit high. And it needs to be down about there. So, not too bad, but I don't have any of that gear on me now. I've got it all at home. So we'll have to come back another day and do that. See, I could do with another tie down just in here. Just the same as this one. Um, bash this staple in. Yeah, definitely needs a batten or another wire tar in here just to lift that up a wee bit off 
the ground. But overall, the majority of it is done. Um, yeah, pretty stoked how it's come out, really. Right, we have it all joined up electric wires. Uh, those four and those three, just until I get uh, that insulator back on that one. So yeah, for now, we are done here. Um, like I said, still got a bit more work to do, but it'll be stop proof, and um, yeah, we'll start carrying all this gear back to the side by side. Whew. Who wants to help me? Anyone? You fellas? Will you, you help me? Well, I don't know how much you can carry though. Yeah.